going on everybody? Isaac here with Civil Engineering Academy. I wanted to jump on real quick and we're doing a little review of the on-demand course provided by the School of PE, specifically for the FE course. Uh, they were nice enough to let me see some of the back end of stuff and I wanted to do a quick review of their course, their on-demand course, so you know what you're getting into as you look into that product. And uh, really there's so many resources out there to help people and engineers pass their FE exam. Uh, this is definitely a good one to check out. So I wanted to do a little back end review and so you can see uh, what you're getting into, how things are laid out, uh, and all of the resources that they provide you to help you ace your FE exam. Uh, School PE is definitely uh, a great resource for people. If you're interested in checking that out, go to civilengineeringacademy.com slash SOPE and you can go check out all the tips and tools and resources they have to help you on your journey to pass your FE and PE exam. So with that said, let's go ahead and flip this thing over and we'll go show you the back end. This is a review of the uh, FE on demand course option at School of PE. Let's go check it out. All right, everybody, so here we are on the back end of things. So the first thing you're going to do is if you go to schoolofpe.com, there's a little login button on the top right. You click on that, you'll be taken to the back end of their site to sign into your course. So put in your information that you've been emailed. You're going to hit log in, and you've got the course that you've registered for here. So right now I have the FE Civil On Demand course for 2021. We go ahead and click on that guy, and in we go. Uh, once you're in the course, I'm not showing this very well, but you <clears throat> will be asked to set up a profile first. And uh, I'm kind of skipping through that, but uh, you'll be asked to set up a profile, include your information, which exam you're taking, or when you're taking your exam, etc. After that, you'll be taken right to the course content that you have. And you can check out everything that you've done under your profile that you fill out when you begin this right under my account up here on the top, which is nice. So you've got up here on the top your dashboard, you've got some support, you can contact them. You have in your account an inbox, you have your orders, your profile, you can change your password and you can sign out. Um, over here on the left side, you've got your course content. So if you click on that, it's just gonna take you to all of this course content that they have. They have a discussions, and if you click on discussions, it will take you to, oops, I accidentally clicked the course content, so you can check that out. Uh, I'm just uh, want to give you a rundown of the menus real quick. So then <clears throat> over here you got discussions. You will be signing kind of a uh, terms of service when you jump into these, but this is basically a forum where you can ask questions. Anything that you want, you come in here, ask a new question. They track the questions you asked and all questions that are asked, and uh, you can get feedback, right? Which is nice. So uh, you've got that as part of the course. You also have a reimbursement letter because many employers will reimburse you for course material. Uh, so you want to ch check that out if you're going to get reimbursed through your workplace. And you can get a letter uh, before course completion if you just need it to get reimbursed. Or you can do it after course completion. You certify that you've gone through the material and you can click on that and it'll get you a reimbursement letter which is kind of nice. They also have add-ons so if you click on add-ons what you can do is you can select all these other products if you would like them to help you on your own journey. That includes calculators, additional books like their FE Civil Exam Review Guide which they came out with can help you out and some other material including tutoring, the FE Handbook if you want a physical copy of that, uh, some practice exams if you need those etc. So check that out if you want to. Alright, main thing you're here for though is course content. So if we give a little bit of a preview here, if you click on course content which is uh, gonna take you to the course itself, just a real quick breakdown uh, of everything. They're gonna cover basic mathematics for you. You first with each of these get some class notes and with the class notes you can download them you can bookmark them, you can mark them as complete. And uh, so you've got a nice little PDF layout here of the notes. And again, you can draw on this thing, you can print it out, you can save it. Uh, it's pretty slick. And then you can jump into the video lectures and each video lecture tells you how long the lecture is, which is nice. 
and you can see that uh, it was part of a presentation so you get all of the chat that came in with the presentation as well which is very slick and nice so uh, you just do Dr. Michael here is doing his basic engineering mathematics presentation you can just hit play and you get running on that so after they cover basic mathematics you're jumping into a calculator operations this is super nice because uh, many people don't know how to use their own calculator right so if you click on the class notes you can download how to use your own calculator and then you can also go to a lecture video it's going to teach you how to use all the functions of your calculator like the Casio FX 115 ES after they break that up uh, you're gonna get into your mathematics and statistics your ethics these are all topics that are covered uh, by uh, the NCS specifications right and they're laid out the same way so under mathematics you're gonna get uh, the lecture modules for each one you're gonna get a workshop of problems and solutions and then you're also gonna get all the lectures that are uh, associated with that they also have a quiz after each one including flashcards which is quite nice so if you go to the quiz after you've done all the modules you can start a test and it's going to give you a little bit of a quiz uh, you can also upload your own reference manual if you've downloaded it from your NCES account and plug that in so if I just hit start test they give you 90 minutes and 30 questions here and then they give you a breakdown of the quiz to see where you failed and where you stunk it up and it looks like this so if you select that it'll give you a breakdown of your metrics uh, the, the composition of questions that they gave you and then you can go in and see the problems that they gave you and even check uh, click on a problem here the questions ID and you can see the problem and solution which is super nice right so uh, flashcards are also included with the modules as part of this so you can go through flashcards that are gonna quickly uh, quiz you on some things um, we'll see what that comes up with so there you go you know quick flashcards just something you can quickly review and look at and uh, give yourself additional practice where you need it so that applies for every module you get the lecture notes the videos quizzes after each module a workshop of problems and flashcards and they cover that for each individual uh, spec topic that they're going to cover for you one of the things I want to highlight is uh, the practice portal pro which is super nice because you got some options here one of them you can build your own exam from a pool of problems and then the other two are practice tests that they give you they give you 360 minutes to go through these and they're like real exam tests the CBT exam so you can jump on here and upload your own a handbook just like what I showed you before and off you go taking a practice test like the real deal so they give you two of those under build your exam uh, this is kinda neat so once you go in here you can uh, build your own questions so let's say you wanted a lot of math questions or you just wanted math or you want to do them all it doesn't matter but let's say you just wanted to practice a few of these so you selected those and they list the pool of problems that they're pulling from you can select easy, medium, or hard. Uh, with that, with the number of questions you want to get asked uh, as part of this, you launch the exam. And uh, let's say I just want to do 10 questions. So that's all I have time for. Uh, let's call this exam. I'm going to take exam one. Oh, I already did that. Let's do exam two. Launch the exam. Okay, let's do it. All ready to da -da, da -da, da -da. do you want to proceed yes I started one earlier so that's why that came up so they give you a breakdown of what you're gonna take this is exam number two that I titled how many questions and then you just start going right and once you start the test uh, multiple choice it looks like the real deal you can provide feedback you can flag problems you can end the exam if you uploaded the handbook it would be on the other side which is super nice Anyway, when you end the exam, after you go through it all, uh, like I said, you will be taken to a diagnostics page, which is similar to this guy, and you can really uh, fine-tune how you did on the exam and areas you need to improve on, which is super slick. So guys, that's going to be it. So you can build your own exam, then you've got the other exams that look very similar to what I just described to you, 
and that's what you got. So this is fun. This is an awesome little back end of the on-demand course for the FE exam. Again, uh, if you have any problems, you go to the dis discussions tab, plug it in there, get support when you need it, and off you go. So hopefully, guys, this was helpful for you. It was fun for me to go through and look at, and um, hope you enjoyed that. All right, guys, so I hope that helped you. Uh, this was really fun for me, and I thank the School of PE for allowing me to do this, uh, show you and you the back end of things. I know I definitely learned some things as I got around in there and played uh, around with things. And I think, you know, any any place that's gonna give you a lot of modules with some great practice problems and exams is gonna be awesome. School PE is definitely one of those. So definitely check it out. Go to civilengineeringacademy.com slash SOPE and go check out the resources that they have for you. And uh, you can't go wrong. Uh, one of the things that we value at Civil Engineering Academy is that we like to do reviews of all the tips and tools and resources that are available to you at your disposal to help you on your journey to pass your FE and your PE exam. So if you do want additional tips and tools, definitely check us out at civilengineeringacademy.com. You can find out books we recommend and everything else that you'd like to check out as well. So go check out School of PEs though. They got a great resource for you. Get that on-demand course if you are studying for the FE exam. Again, that's civilengineeringacademy.com slash S-O-P-E and you can go check it out for yourself. Anyway guys, hope that was helpful to you. Uh, I wish you the best of luck if you're taking the FE exam. I know it's a big deal and it's a huge weight off your shoulders if you can get that thing done and then you get to worry about the PE. So, you know, that's okay. It's all part of the journey. Anyway, hope you're doing well and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Boo.